Hello, lovely people. My name is Akua. I know it's been like forever. It's been a while since I came to you like this. It's for a good cause. I've told myself that I will not speak a word or I will not start vigorous ministry if I haven't built a solid spiritual foundation. So I spend my time kind of communing with God and understanding the times and the season and exact words that I need to speak to his people, that he wants me to tell his people. That is why you haven't seen me. I've been well. Thank God for everyone that reached out. I'm doing very well by the grace of God. And um, this year is going to be an amazing year, I know. I am not someone who makes a lot of resolutions. I don't even like it because most time I'm not able to keep it. And so I don't. But this very year I have made one and I want to share that with you. I noticed that the first thing I do when I wake up from bed is to pick up my phone and check the messages and check how um, content or words or inspirational words or prophetic word I've released, if people are watching it, if it is going, if it is, people are actually paying attention and all that. And it became like an addiction. And so I pay attention to that before I do any other thing else. I spend time with God. Don't get me wrong. I spend time with God. But I noticed that he was not my first. He was not somebody I placed first. So I attend to other things before attending to that. And so this year, what I did is that I'm going to pay attention into reading the word of God and uh, communing with him first before any other thing. Now, when this idea came or when this realization came i noticed that the first thing i did when i woke up was to pick up my phone and check on my tiktok and immediately it hit me and i knew that no i'm straying and as much as i do most ministry online the online is not a determining factor of what i put across but what i spend time with and so if i'm not able to spend time with god if i'm not able to place him first what made me think that he will place anything that concerns me first. And so I decided that in this season, I was going to pay attention and make sure that the first thing that I, I, I looked upon, and it's not, it's, I, I decided, because sometimes you can, you can choose to focus on it, or I'm going to read my Bible when I wake up, but it becomes a routine. It becomes a ritual. So when you wake up, you just pick it and uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever, whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Thank you for your word and you are back to it. It is not intentional. You just want to do that to fulfill, you know, your spirit, your religious um, ideas of who God is. So that if if the guilt come that you are not spending time with God, you be like, oh, I just I read my Bible before coming on TikTok, or I read my Bible before going on social media, or that. No, I, I I was very intentional about it, and I said to the Holy Spirit, look, I'm going to be intentional about reading your word. I'm going to be intentional about feeding on your word. I'm going to be intentional about feeding my spirit with your word. That way, that way, that way. Um. Any word that comes from me will be backed by you. It will not be an assumption. It will not be because I want to throw something out there, but it will be intentional because I have fed on you and I'm feeding people who watch me with. And I don't want to watch, I don't want you to waste your data um, because you have to watch it. I want you to benefit from everything that will come from me. So that's one thing I have done. In the year 2023 and so far it's been amazing why am i telling you this i want to find out did you make any resolution if not can you pick just one thing assure god what you're going to do and stick by it stick by it stick by it there is a word that my father in the lord always says that consistency attracts the realm of the spirit and it's true whilst you are consistent with one thing you notice that a time will come, your systems and everything will align to it. So let me know in the comments, what are you taking along in this year 2023 and running with it and stick by it to the end of it. And let's see what God will do with that in your life. Mm -hmm.